MGM Springfield is one step closer to breaking ground, but even further away from actually doing it. 22 News I team reporter Ryan Walsh was at today's meeting and discovered why there is yet another delay. Well, casino companies have to pay the state $85 million within 30 days of receiving a license. But the uncertainty of a repeal vote has led both MGM and the Gaming Commission to find a compromise. The Gaming Commission voted unanimously to give MGM the state's first full casino license. But there's two buts. The Gaming Commission will likely designate MGM the licensee on Friday and award the license either three days after a court decision in favor of casinos moving forward or three days after a November vote in favor of casinos. If it comes down that they will not permit the uh, repeal to be on the ballot, then bang, we're off to the races. And, and uh, the, tri the trigger mechanism starts, the award is effective, the money gets paid, and shovels go on the ground. To get that gaming license, MGM has to accept six conditions, and that can't happen until Friday. Is MGM willing and prepared to accept the rest of the conditions attached to the license? We are. There's probably a little bit of wordsmithing to be done, but we, we generally accept uh, everything that's been discussed today. The Gaming Commission completed its evaluation of MGM's project. Each commissioner gave MGM very good marks. At least five real serious companies that wanted to do business in, in uh, Western Mass. It eventually winnowed down to them because they effectively won the competitive process. They certainly won the competitive process in Springfield. The Gaming Commission will be back in Springfield Friday to designate MGM the licensee. Live in the studio, Ryan Walsh, 22 News.